and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the best way to build a no money spent team as of today, October 15, 2019, guys. So, at this point, we've had a ton of free stuff. I personally believe. This is the best year of no money spent Madden that there's ever been. Now, a lot of people might say it's pay to play. Now, you're right. To be up here, it's pay to play. But to be like right here is a lot higher than Madden's ever given us. Back in like Madden 13 and a lot of other games, like some of the newer Ultimate teams, in some ways, like between like Madden 14 and like 17, a lot of the things that you had to do was literally just save up points. There was no nap players. There was no things like that. So everything you got, you had to literally earn. And you had to like work four hours and hours of grinding souls and trust me you guys don't understand what i even mean like now it's like journey souls and like gauntlet souls objective souls there used to be like every soul back in the older mountains were full games for 500 coins to a thousand coins it was not it was not anything like it is today you guys have no idea if you guys have not played that long but the point being is that this is the best year of no money spent you can have literally like an 88 89 overall team right now without actually ever buying packs and in quite honestly if you really think about it boys i only went on my pack opening the first week of the first three days of madden I did my pack openings and I probably lost most of it back on YouTube making videos and stuff. So for the most part, I'm almost no money spent. Like besides the packs and the level up, you guys understand what I'm saying? Like I'm not too far away from it. Obviously I'm not full, but my team, my team being almost a 90 overall kind of shows like what I, you could potentially do. I pretty much just gained all my coins from house rules, weekend league and everything on since then. But well, the point I'm trying to make here is that for all you guys who think that's not possible and all you guys who have no hope, you can get a team that good without actually spending money. Now, obviously, for all no money spent, guys, and in general, you guys want to do your level up grind. I'm sure not, I can't, I can't preach that enough. Don't ask me how sh coin making methods if you haven't, if you're not level 60 yet. Hit level 60. It's not that hard. I know it's it's tedious and it sucks, but it's not it's not like it takes days. You could literally get it done like in a day if you really wanted to. I, I did it. So all you gotta do is I have the video up on my channel. I have two of them. I have an older one and an updated one. Just go follow that. Follow that exactly. Get to level 60, level 60 grind, level fit, level 0 to 60 gets you about, I'd say about 1.5 million coins worth of power, passes, coins, packs, platinum cards. It's very worth it. Make sure you're getting your serious progression done to get all your trophies. And then on top, and then we're going to get to our nap players, right? So the amount of nap players we got this year is kind of unreal. So starting from the top, right? Right here, free Juju Smith, or let's say we go free Marshall Lattimore. Right here, Mud Heroes, for me, that's free Jalen Ramsey. That, that's that's my, my cornerbacks are locked up right there. Team of the week, free team of the year at some point. The Legends, we get those power-up cards. You could use the power-up to the 90 overalls, which again, great budget options. Me, I have Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, George Kittle. I have all Aaron Donald. I have all these power-up cards that aren't available limited times yet, but I power them up anyways. A great way to get great cards without spending too many coins. Mutt 10 card, we get a free limited time. A free limited time, 92 to, 91 to 93 overall card at some point in like, what, two, three weeks? Ultimate kickoff. That gave us crap. I don't forget that one. NFL Epics, free Baker Mayfield, free Deacon Jones. Journey, free Michael Thomas. Gauntlet, I took Devin White, which you guys should have probably taken. Um, theme Diamonds, free Theme Diamond card, which we ended up getting from House Wars, not from there, I believe. Mud Superstars, free 90 Mahomes, let's just say, or Gurley. I got Gilmore. Like, right there, you guys have you guys have a good a good portion of a foundation for your team, just off that. Just off that. Now we're getting into House Rules. House Rules gives us a free Theme Diamond, like I said. A free base elite. A free team of the week or redux card. A lot of good stuff right there. A free mud hero, which was Saquon Barkley for me. Guys, I think at that point you guys have like I think that's like 15 to 20 free players already. You guys have the majority of your team. The majority of it. Now, how to fill the rest of that team in, right? I'm gonna give you guys a few little budgety options right here that I, this is how I like to fill like a no money spent team where you guys got all your free players right but you're really low on coins and you gotta fill some positions in. Come to the team of the week sets. Start right here, team of the week preseason. I like to search for the uh, little diamonds. So right here, you guys need some new cards. You search for the team of the week sets every time. Team of the week has been infamous, or if that's even a good word for that, for known for dropping off really really good cards into this game that you quite otherwise. Couldn't get stats that, like they, they just fill they fill needs for your team. So actually, I think I like team of the week. Was it week one that I really liked? Let's go over to it. Lamar Jackson's a beast, by the way, if you guys can afford him. But let's say you had that whole team and you didn't have a running back, right? You could pick up that Aaron Jones. You could pick up 
Is it James Bradbury that was really good? Let's see. Bradbury has 86 speed, 87 excel. He has some athleticism. If you just need like a slot corner, right? Because typically a slot corner, you just need for like some decent, some decent speed, decent acceleration, keep up with the guys out of the slot. Next, you guys need like that third wide receiver. You have your Nat wide receiver, you have your Michael Thomas, maybe you have a Verucius or whatever you got from the Team Diamond. And I need a slot wide receiver that can just get you guys really good speed. Marquise Brown, 91 speed. John Ross, 93, uh, 91 speed also, I believe. Some great options right here. So, like I said, with the no money spent, like, there's no money spent teams that really grinded really hard this year and have millions of coins and played the market. But if you're not a market guy, typically no money spent team takes all their NAT cards and then try to work with the few 200k they have. You could really just fill some holes very easily. I wouldn't fill holes defensively too much with Team of the Weeks only because defensively, like, I really like to have a really set unit. You could do a pass rusher maybe, maybe a corner, but, like, I don't really like to get burnt like that. But on offense, you'd have no problem filling in a Marquise Brown to a position where you literally just streak him or you just slant him. Like, you'd have no problem filling him into a guy like that. Would I use him for out routes, post routes, all these hard routes? Probably not. But they definitely could find a use in your team. Coming over here, let's say you never got a running back. Aaron Jones is a great running back option. 85 speed, 85, uh, 88 excel, 85 carrying, 87 agility. You could easily toss him into your running back slot on a no money spent. Like, there's just so many budgety options for very, very cheap that you could take, uh, you take advantage of. That a lot of you guys probably don't even realize. I'm pretty sure Raheem Mustard is a really good uh, speedy running back. 87 speed, 88 excel. I'm telling you, there's so many options in Team of the Week. And they, they cost almost nothing. So that's the beauty of them. Let's say you have 300k. And you want a lockdown cornerback and a running back. But you don't you don't really use your running back too much. You just want like a speedy back just to have. You could spend 235k or whatever on like J 280k on Jalen Ramsey. And then spend 7k on one of the guys I just mentioned, like Aaron Jones or Mustard. And you could just toss them in there. That's like the beauty of with the no money spent team is that you could really use budgety options in that aspect. Also, always be looking for the trophies, like I was saying, for no money spent because you really want to be getting your trophies. The trophies give you plenty of things. So for me, series progression is a great thing to always keep on top of. Series multiplayer wins. I'm almost at 150 and then 200. That right here alone, from 200 to 75, it's 120. Uh, that becomes, uh, let's see, 120, 240, 360, 480, and then six, uh, was that for 600? It's like 600 trophies right there and then with everything i think with everything it's about like 850 trophies 850 trophies can get you a lot in the store and then you also get things from house rules you typically can get easily about 1000 2000 trophies per series for like the average player and with those trophies you can get packs and specifically for no money spent team you could save all your all your trophies for a nat melvin gordon 93 if you guys want to buy a running back or take the saquon first then get john madden coach no, the no money spent you're always gonna be like an overall two behind all the money spent guys probably so the john madden coach could really help boost your overall by using his cams and abilities on your team that could really help boost your team up more than it should be that's how last year i competed with a lot of the money spent guys although my team was always like a little bit behind there's so many great options this year in my opinion to really stay in touch with everyone um and before i go into that to give you guys a good look of what it could look like to go come on over to it Come over to my team. Saquon Barkley's Nat. DeAndre Hopkins is Nat. I got him from a solo challenge. Uh, let's see. George Kittle is Nat. I got his Steam Diamond card. And then I obviously power him up a little bit more. Another good option for a no money spent team, Randy Moss right there. You can power him up for pretty cheap. Michael Vick powered him up to his uh, full training card minus his actual card. Torrey Holt, another guy that comes with the game. You just have to play and get him done. It's not hard to get him done, guys. I highly recommend you get your level up grind done. Corey Schlesinger, free. A lot of my team looks no money spent for the most part. Trust me, guys. So much potential. I recommend powering up all the legends in my 10 cards that you like. Brian Dawkins right here, another budget option, 180K. Get in without having to buy him. Uh, let's see, Lawrence Taylor, I use my power up pass on. So right there, again, another budgety option that, that you can... These are all no money spent options, in my opinion. Shazier's free. Devin White's free. Von Miller was from trophies. Again, no money spent options. Pat Tillman's free. Deion Sanders was the power up option on the full one. Cameron Jordan was free. Michael Pierce was free from a, a power pass. Demarcus Lawrence was free. Aaron Donald's my power pass. Willie Brown I actually did buy. Jalen Ramsey's free from the solo challenges, and I should have Stephon Gilmore right there, which I do not, which is also free. As you guys can see, a lot of my team is free and that. Honestly, I don't know why I don't have more points because of that. Just realized how many players are free on my team. Tyreek Hill, I pulled the first week of Madden, still have not gotten rid of him to this day. Guys, trust me, there's so much. As you guys saw from my team right there, you guys might think that my team's crazy or whatever, which it really isn't. My team's the majority of my team is free, not powered up. 
from uh, cheaper cards. Take advantage of this while you can, guys. There's so many opportunities. With Mutt 10, there's another Mutt 10 player coming out Friday, so that might be another option for you guys to build on your no money spent teams. Just stay in touch with all that. Trust me, guys. Just understand that Mutt 10 cards specifically are not that much different from the limited time. Typically, just one stat is like killed for Dion. It was zone for Moss. It was like route running or something. But trust me, you still may, they still have plenty of good stats. Take advantage of that. I hope you guys let's give you guys some hope with your no money spent teams, and you guys can start grinding it out. If you guys didn't already know some of those tips, I hope you guys it helped you guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. We're so close to 10k, boys. We're 70k away. Let's make it happen. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below anything you think I missed on a no money spent team. And give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Give this video to 200 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.